Hey beautiful, it is Friday and it's the first day of the vlog. I got on camera to show you guys the transformation of the kitchen. We are changing the knobs and giving the kitchen a face lift. So here are the new knobs that we got are these called pools handles that we got from Amazon and here are the old ones so Davidson just got these old ones off and we we're trying these. These are seven inches. I thought they were a little bit too big. Let me know what you think. And I wanted to get the five inches. So let me tell you what exactly happened. They sent me six inches and three quarters. And I was like, those are way too big. But when he got home, he said that those were perfect. And they look nice. And they like gave the kitchen a sort of facelift. So you can kind of see the difference between the black knob, the black handles. And here's the silver knobs. And here's the brand that we got from Amazon. They sell different inches. The Rav Ravint cabinet hardware brand i think they're good quality they're not super heavy they're kind of lightweight but they're matte black and they look good they're in great condition it comes with the screws it comes with the um handles and separately you can buy the template in order to screw in the handles so these are the matte black like one hole one hole replacement i said one hole replacement one hole handle Okay, you see how these handles are like one hole and these are two holes. So he was saying that if he got the two hole one here, he would have to figure out what to do about this hole. So he would have to put wood filler, blah, 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 paint and all this. And he don't know if he can match this paint. So that's why I got the one handle one. Probably talking gibberish right now. You probably don't know what I'm talking about. But he's going to attempt to see if he can make this look good without... Girl, you won't see. You won't see. All right, I just stuffed my face with dinner, but... While Davidson is doing that, I wanted to show you the faucet. Can you see? You can't even see. Yeah, the faucet here. The matte black faucet. I want to order this one and the hinges to matte black. Babe, you want me to order the faucet now? The faucet. Okay, stop doing everything that your sibling does. I'm not giving you water. You got water right over there. Hold that thought. Good morning! I'm not even gonna hold you. It is a whole bunch of weeks later, maybe two weeks since I picked up this camera. I think so. I got my surgery like a week and a half ago or two weeks. I think Monday made two weeks. But is it been three weeks? It don't matter. Because for you, it's the next clip. So I have a wisdom tooth out here, a wisdom tooth up here. So that's two wisdom tooth and a wisdom tooth down here, three wisdom tooth and one molar. But for now, I'm just letting my gums heal. So I've been doing fine. The first week was a little rough with the soups and all that, but I'm getting there. Still can't eat like nachos, but I'm getting there. Anywho, I have a lot of updates to give you. Maybe not a lot in your eyes, but it's a lot to me, okay? So let me quickly start with the front and then I'm just gonna go downstairs, upstairs. Yeah, today is Saturday, by the way. So the front literally still looks the same. We got the desk that's still too small for the area, but it works. This is where I work during the day. We got the pull-out couch that I'm not sure if I'm keeping yet. The toy chest that I'm not sure if I'm keeping that color. Definitely keeping the toy chest. And the front, which is nothing there. Here are our shoes because I'm trying to find a shoe storage. But this part, it still looks the same. The kitchen though, there's been some changes. We have changed all of the fixtures for the kitchen. So all the fixtures are black. We went with the pull handles, yes. And we have that one, the small ones. It doesn't look bad to me. Then I think he spray painted this one until we get the, the handles that are straight. Then we changed the top ones. And here is the bottom part of the kitchen. So let me give you a view. I don't know if I showed you guys this already. But this is what it's giving so far. And we changed the faucet as well. I just ordered a new one of these. Sorry for the dirty dishes. But I just ordered a new faucet off Amazon. Because I did not know this one came with a label. The company's label. And I don't like that. 
So I kind of ordered the same one. We're going to try out that one together and see if we like it. But I have no issues with this faucet aside from the label there. So you just turn it on like this and it has these to spray and this one just stops it. And of course it comes out. So I really, really loves it. And I feel like, I said I really, really loves it. I feel like it brings, like, you know, characters to the kitchen from changing it to the, from the silver to the black. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whole different kitchen, y'all. I wish I had the before and after, but whole different kitchen. Same table. I know, I don't know if I told you about that Walmart chair I got for the time being. Same couches. Everything looks the same down here. Another change, what's this, in the kitchen is, remember when I was organizing everything and I tried to keep something open for the trash, but we did it. So here's the new trash. You get the handle, you pull. I'm not gonna show you the trash, but here it is. Isn't that cool? So I got this from Amazon. Davidson installed it, and I think it's so cool. I cannot wait to organize all of these. But yeah, got this from Amazon. I'm gonna link it for you if you have a cabinet and you want to have a pullout. This is from Amazon. The pulls are from Amazon. The little ones are from Amazon as well. The reason why we didn't go with Home Depot and Lowe's because I just felt like the prices on Amazon, they just give you more for your money. I have nothing on the counters. I literally just have, I literally have the Keurig machine here and I have a toaster, a knife set, and I think that's the Google something. I do want to add a um, air fryer and looking at the counter space, I don't even know where I'm putting the air fryer. I'll probably put it on this side or I don't know. When I get the air fryer, I gotta figure it out. Okay, this is probably hard for you to see, but we changed the blind in our bedroom. We changed it from the blinds that came with the house to just a regular blind. This room, we also want to change all the fixtures of everything, make it black. In the meantime, I hung up two hooks. Got these from Amazon. It's just temporary. Hubby hung them up. I'll go ahead and link it if you're looking for like a, I don't know, nice cute look. And this mat is a long runner. Got it from Amazon. Well, it's temporary, one in black, but everything else is still silver in here. So we're in the loft, and this is the activity toy closet. Still, it's not organized. But this is not my priority. So I'm gonna get these sensory tubes up here. I showed you guys this before in a previous vlog. I'll go ahead and link it and have the kids play with this downstairs. Hey, I'm actually solo today. Hubby's working, so I have a lot to do. Like a lot of like mom, mom stuff. So <laughs> I'm gonna have them play with that downstairs. I'm gonna take Liam's hair down, wash his hair. What, what else? I have to talk to the kids about the fruits of the spirits and the verse, and then it's gonna be nap time. I don't think I missed anything. Oh, and I gotta do a whole mess of laundry. Hey you guys, I am in my closet. This is like my get some peace, some happy place. The kids are taking a nap. This morning was a morning. I always plan out, like, not always, but I really, really try to plan out my weekends. I just want a productive weekend, a weekend with my family. Most of the time, weekends are family time. I try to plan something to do with the kids and plan their day so they're not on their iPads all day. If you look in my notes, I'll have Saturday and I'll have kind of like everything listed out that we're gonna do. Sometimes I have just activities for the kids. <sighs> 
this morning was a morning y'all like i was standing in the kitchen like close to tears girl i wasn't like i was in tears i was just not letting it fall i was calling on jesus this year like calling on jesus for the, the small things i just wasn't used to doing like i would be thinking oh this is so small so minuscule for jesus but man i had a morning just woke up and this is like this is saturday so i've already done monday through friday i'm on saturday okay a wife a mom an entrepreneur our thing okay so this morning i wake up i'm already solo which is fine i'm solo most of the time but when you've done the whole week You've gave everything all week. You've gave mom. You gave wife. You gave worker. You gave, and then it's Saturday. Your glass, at least for me, it be like almost empty. I be using the last amount of gasoline I have to keep going. Sometimes I have a little bit more in my tank, and sometimes I don't. Today I didn't have that much. Okay, but what could go wrong? Woke up this morning, had all them dressed them, did everything. I got three brushed teeth, did all that. Got downstairs. I want cereal, I want cereal, no problem, boo. Pulled it out, poured the cereal, opened the fridge, there's no milk. I gotta explain to three talk, there's no milk. We, we can't eat the cereal. Okay, finally, everybody agreed to do the alternative through that whole time, my youngest. He is not yet two. He's going through a transition. He's almost two, but not yet two. They talk about the terrible twos, but is there a terrible ones? I don't know. The whining and the crying and the tantruming and stumping your feet. And his favorite word is no. And it's constant. And I be tired. I be tired. So we get over that. Everybody eat. We're good. Pull out the activity. We still good. It's lunchtime. Y'all saw bread is moldy. Halfway through making it, I'm like, okay, let's scratch that. But we still good, okay? Because mommy knows how to reverse. Pull out the air fryer. I hate that air fryer with a passion, y'all. I hate that air fryer. Pull it out. All right, we're going to do nuggets and fries. We good, we good. I want peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We can't have peanut butter and jelly sandwich because there ain't no bread. How there's no bread and there was no milk? Don't worry about that. But we're going to have nuggets and fries. We good. Still, the whole time this going on, yeah. At this point, y'all, I want to melt. I want to scream. I want to yell. But I'm like, that's fine. That's good. We're Gucci. Turn on the air fryer. Y'all, why the air fryer stop one minute in? So I'm like, what's going on? I look over through the screaming and, and everything. Air fryer off. Stove off. The little Google thing off. And I'm like, what? Did we lose power? The fridge light is on. All the lights is on. No, we didn't lose power. All the outlets on the left side of the house completely don't work. So chaos. Call my husband. I'm like, this is an easy fix. Psh, babe, the outlets aren't working. He whispering. What you mean is how? I'm like, is they not working? They not working. How do I make it work? How do I make it work? Press the GFCI. We said, but where that at? Babe, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm working. I'm working. Y'all. At this point, I want to give up. I want to go off. I want to scream. The Caribbean in me. But I'm like, no, calm down. I go look for the reset button. Y'all walked around this whole house. The bathrooms, I'm pregnant. Reset outside in the heat. Reset whole time. People, baby crying. Reset, reset, nothing. Reset, nothing turned on. Took the air fryer, moved it to the part of the house that the outlet was working. We're going to air fry in the foyer. And that's when the tears started to flow. And I just stop and i talk to jesus how are you going to teach these kids the fruits of the spirit if you can't even engage them yourself where's your self-control where's your patience where's the peace and joy y'all i'll be struggling struggling and by the way we still ain't got no electricity on the left side of the house i i, I, I don't know So hubby called me back and I had went to the garage and used the breaker panel thing, but I did not know how to use it, so I didn't want to mess with it. But one of them wasn't completely on the on all the way. So he told me to flip it off, flip it on. Girl, everything turned on. The power of prayer. And I wasn't even praying for that. I literally stood there and prayed for patience, peace, and gentleness and self-control. <laughs> because everything's gonna be alright. And it was. But anyway, um, have y'all tried the pimento sandwich from Chick-fil-A? If you like pimento cheese, you should try it. I like it. It's good. I've been like ashamed to say I've been eating it all week. Not every day, but you know this thing is not gonna focus for nobody. 
It just got like the cheese with the honey. It ain't gonna focus. All right, you guys, what have we been talking about all week? What type of fruit? The fruit of the spirit. The yeah. fruit of the spirit, right? Riley, do you know some of them? What are they? Kindness, lovingness, gentleness, control. Good job, good job for trying and remembering. So today we're gonna watch a short video about the fruits of the spirit. So we can find the fruits of the spirit in Galatians. Can we say Galatians? Galatians. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace. Is that like not sharing your block with someone? Not yeah. sharing your block yeah. with someone, right? Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these lights are so dim. Anyway, so I got these sensory bins from Michaels. I always see these and I think they're cool, but I never get them because they're pricey. They're like, I think $24, like a bin. And you could definitely make these yourself. I've made them myself in the past, but they had a sale going on. Buy one, get 150% off. So they're basically different kits. I didn't get the ones that have the like water beads, only because Liam is not yet two years old. And I heard a story of uh, a, a mom having multiple kids and her nine-month-old apparently finding a water bead on the floor somewhere. Hey, on the floor somewhere. And she found it on the floor, she swallowed it, and she got sick, took her to the hospital. Um, she ended up passing away, the nine-month-old, to find out she swallowed a water bead. And if you know anything about water beads, they, they, when they get water, they expand. And she ended up passing away, and I, girl, now I'm like, no, no water beads until you're 15 years old. This one is a dinosaur dig. It has like the dinosaurs and stuff. Okay, here, this is a better picture. You're like digging for dinosaurs. Um, this one is, you're digging for, I don't think you're digging. I think this one is like construction or something like that. I think this one is like gardening. So I'm gonna set these up, help the kids set these up. Oh, and they're all three, three years, three year old and up appropriate. I'm still gonna let my 23 month old son play with them, but I'll, I'll keep you updated. You wanna open it? You wanna open these? Mommy! Open them. Yes, yes. I'm gonna do one by one. Yeah, not that stuff. The rocks with sand. I'm always gonna grab those. I'm always gonna grab you and you after I bury you. No! back from a an adventure we left the house and went to like a local furniture store that they needed me to go to and put money down and it's a long story but i should have took y'all i didn't we're gonna go back tomorrow so you're probably gonna see it tomorrow anyway so i went to a fried fish and fried chicken store on the way home we had a dinner res reservation tonight at chateau elan at versailles i think it's called i'm not sure the point of that is it got canceled, not canceled, but I had to reschedule it for tomorrow because hubby's still not home. It's eight o'clock. I got us some fried chicken wings and fried fish. Fun fact, in Miami, these aren't like every, like you can find these easily, I wanna say. But in Atlanta, I don't find fried shit. Like, you know, they got like the fried shrimp basket with the fried chicken, the fried fish. Like these wings. Whoa. Like if you from Miami, you know snappers. Hey, Aiden waiting. I should got the shrimp basket, but I was like, let me take this first and see. Let me separate the kids' food because they feel like they're about to eat me. Wait, let me separate y'all food, okay? Good morning. I am getting ready for church. I wanted to wear some makeup, but I have to be in the car at 8.30. So I don't think that's happening. And I don't want to be late. Should I? Should I wear makeup? Okay, repair cream. I ran out of my, um, what was it, Laneige moisturizing cream, but I always keep the Ultra Repair Cream. I like backup, but I'm running out of this too, so I gotta go to Sephora. When I don't wear makeup, literally this is all I put on my face this morning. I haven't worn this bodysuit in a long time. Dude, I mean, this is I like to throw. Oh, I thought it was by mistake. I thought one of the kids pushed it in. Oh, I did it. <clears throat> I 
I'm wearing this top and <coughs> this linen pants that I got from Target. These are from Amazon and I have to do my edges. It was in um McKenna put me on the got to be for your edges, but it's not working for my edges. Aaliyah put me on the gummy, the gummy wax. This actually does work for my edges more than the got to be. I don't know why this isn't working. The spray actually works, but I don't like it because I feel like when you spray the yellow spray, it goes like a lot of places that I don't need it to go. I haven't yet been able to get this to work, so I don't know if it's me. I gotta get this in the yellow bottle. Do hey, 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 you gotta unpick your Starbucks order here. Babe, yes, come put your Starbucks right on here. I was leaving you. I don't know why you're trying to get me say. It was what? I was leaving you. I told you bye. You look too late. Oh, man, it's here. No, man, this is probably my hair. So don't be making my hair. Man, why are you shaking so long? Hey, why are your shoes still not on? Did okay. you not Everybody go downstairs. Put your shoes on. What? Riley, go wipe your face, please. I want to see them Hey guys, so we just came from church and we came to pick up a queen bed from like a factory place. I don't know. Babe found it on Facebook Marketplace, so we're gonna go get it now. Hey, then come give me your hand. I mean, Riley, give me your hand. This Riley can touch our man. Liam, don't touch. I'm not gonna touch it. Like You're not? Under that. Yeah, I do, but I don't like that one. No, I mean, I'm not gonna touch anything anymore. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah. Can I help you? We just came to pick up the bed that I paid for yesterday. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So here's the vanity I saw yesterday. I think this place is like... Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like, you know when you get stuff from Wayfair or Amazon? I think they buy it and put it together and upsell it or something. But this is nice, you guys. Yeah, I like this. Why are the knobs one up and one down? Well, let me show you. It's like a small wardrobe. Yeah. It's like a, like a knickknack um, place. Yeah. Oh, the chair is so long. Hey guys, so we're home and I just got some packages. Davidson made the kids, the older kids, take a nap. I think this is from Nike. Yeah, this is from Nike. Liam, please. Oh, just got some Nikes for Liam. He is smart. Hey. Yeah. Do you know how to do that? Yeah, I know how you know how to do that because he does that every time I'm on the phone with a client. This I got for the kids to read them at night. The fruit of the spirit, God lives in my heart. And then the first fruit of the spirit, which we're gonna focus is love. So I wanted to, I wanted to pre-order a book about love for them. Then what's this? I really didn't wanna be doing the faucet right now. Kitchen faucet cover. So the new faucet came in. I got some honest wipes. For some reason, I usually get my um, toilet wipes from Costco, flushable wipes from Costco. But Costco is showing that they have it. So I end up getting the honest. I got these flushable plant-based wipes from where I got this from Amazon. Let's see if it's soft. I'm gonna take a win. Oh baby, it's thick. No, it is not thick. It sure enough feel plant-based. Oh, did I tell you about my edges? I don't know if I feel like they held up. No girl. They, they definitely are not still in place. I don't remember if I told you I wanted to see if I could replace this because it has a label on it. So I got this one instead. Let me open it and see if there's a label in it. Activate your warranty. It literally looks like the same exact thing, bro. Exactly, and that came with a plate cover, so it wouldn't make sense for it to not have a plate cover. So I'm telling you, you don't need to return whatever you bought. There's no plate cover. Like, why are you even thinking I'll be that slow? This is the exact same thing. Why don't you get the one with the, if you really want to do it, why don't you just get the one with the thing that I said I wanted. Oh yeah, I didn't see nothing, I'm sorry. Remember? Because I, I showed it to you and you said that. You just got the one with that banana chip. I, I don't mind that. I just didn't want it to have the brand name on it. like this little mouth is too little. It could have been bigger. This is literally the exact same thing. I told you, I'm telling you, these companies on Amazon, they buy yeah. the same from the same Chinese vendors and they, the and they just add their name on it. But honestly. But I don't be wanting your name on it. 
Oh, I had said Wayfair when I went to that little um place that we went to just now to get the bed. It wasn't a Wayfair. It was like a store, something that gets stuff from like China, Indonesia. I don't know. Those hey, Chinese made places. Touch. And they just, you know when, I'm, not, I'm trying not to say the wrong thing. But you know when you come from the country, okay, let's say I come from Haiti. And in Haiti, they make apples. But I live in America. I got a connection with that person in Haiti that make apples. Really? That's not bad. That's, that's a, not good? That's, a, that's a bad. So then I went to the Haitian store to get the apples. That's where I just went. Girl! Apples, yeah, apples, so I found it on Facebook Marketplace and they were selling the bed. I just needed something to make it work. We got guests yeah, coming in. Yeah, I needed something yeah. quick and affordable. And I found it and then it was brand new. So it was like bed. The last thing I got was some Long Star brush nylon pipe. Just to clean the stars and stuff. They, I thought they told me they had a little one. Here's the little ones to clean the stars. I'm watching. So we took that one out. The exact same one <laughs> that I installed already. And put that one in. I, I, I don't mind that one. That's why I ended up buying the same thing, but just a different brand. My only issue with DR Horton, well at least this, like how builders have different um, tiers, but they call it something. Anyway, this DR Horton tier or whatever we bought, it comes so, nothing is custom. What you see in the model, that's it. So you can't upgrade. You can't upgrade. You can't nothing. So we had to go in and put everything ourselves. So this is the one. I feel like this one is shorter. <laughs> oh, me. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's not no, a big deal. If it's shorter, we're not keeping it. You what do you mean? No, I mean it's not a huge deal. It's not. It's shorter. It's shorter. But not all that much. This one actually looks better. Mini me. No, it actually looks better. I'm just serious. It's not by much. You want me to hold it next to it? But it is shorter, bro. It is shorter. Babe, not by much. I'm dead serious. Like, you can't really tell the difference. Y'all can tell the difference like that? No, I really don't think it's this much. Honestly, it looks like it go more with the kitchen than the bigger one. You want me to hold it? Let me hold it for you. Let me hold it. He mad because this one is half an inch taller than this one. And he want the big ones, the ones that look like the big kitchen ones. I gave you a picture anyway. I don't think it looks that bad. It still looks like you got a kitchen faucet that's huge in the air. They don't make those that big anymore. The one we had, was it that tall? Yeah. The silver one? And the spot was bigger. Small spot. I don't even have the silver one. I don't remember the silver one being that tall, babe. Oh, no, it wasn't at all. It was ninja. Yeah, okay. I thought you were doing that the red one. No, the midget one, right? I mean, I said the midget one. The silver one we had was not this tall. So at the end of the day, you still get an upgrade. He's still getting an upgrade. I'll show you the finished product when he done. All right, you guys. So here, here is the faucet. The same exact faucet. <laughs> Whatever. Not the name on it. But it doesn't have the name on it. Nothing there, nothing there. It looks nice. I don't know why husbands are always haters. So I just woke the kids up from nap and take the magnet tile box out. I got them some new pieces for their magnet tiles. I got these some magnet tile cars. You literally can just build like vehicles on the magnet tiles. I got them some roads as well. Let me show you. Some magnet tile roads to build. So I never knew that, but magnet tiles itself has, like, can you show? Can you show everybody how you gonna make a car? Magnet tiles has like pieces that they sell separately that I've been collecting Mommy, with the kids. Open it. But those are too big, Bubba. Yeah, what's up? That's a road. That's the ones you drive on. Mommy. Give me some magnet tiles. So you can like build the car. I didn't even know these existed. Yes, mama. Okay, Aiden will open it for you. And they were arguing over this because I only had bought one. So I ended up getting them two additional. And they have a whole bin of magnet tiles. I normally get them one box of magnet tiles every Christmas. Well, I used to. I don't do it anymore. My first bin of magnet tiles I got for Christmas, 100 piece. And I got a 60 piece. Then I got a 30 piece of... I think I got the roads, and then now I just got the cars. These magnet tiles, like these tiny people, came with the, the roads. I got this, I think, from Target. It came with the road. Oop. These aren't actually magnet tiles. They're um, knockoffs. You can get knockoff magnet tiles from, I think I got this from Walmart, but you can get it on Amazon too. 
So these knockoffs, I don't know the brand, but these knockoffs actually go really well with Magnet House. Yeah, Magnet House, the brand is pricey. Mm -mm. They look cheap. They look? No. Those look cheap. Davidson is trying to convince me. No, those look cheap. They look like paper mache. People spend hundreds of dollars on these. I don't like these. What? How do you do that? It's a honeycomb style. I don't like the honeycomb. I don't. Well, they need to keep them. You know the government actually pays you money for having these in your windows. I don't like them because they're energy. They're energy efficient. No, keep them for the bees. What? I don't like those. What? I really don't like that, babe. These look like the temporary shades you put that you buy from Lowe's or Home Depot. No, but they're not full honeycomb. The temporary shades are really paper that's... But it still looks like paper. <clears throat> Which I think. He feels like it brings in the color of the sofa. Maybe it should, it should get closer. I just don't like this. Okay, you guys. So this is what we went with instead. I prefer these. These are... What, what are these, babe? They're dual purpose roller shades. They also have um, black out in the back of it. I don't know how to show you that. Can you show them the black out, man? Yeah. Hurry up. We're trying to rush and get ready for dinner. The kids are ready, but we're not ready yet. There's no battery in it? So this goes down. And it blacks it out. But we're not gonna keep this in here. It's just here for now, but I think I'm gonna transfer these to the kids' room. And I have a shade book upstairs that I'm gonna order for down here. I'll show you um, after dinner. Um, getting ready right now. What? I'm just cute that she said that she's to I got options, and I don't wanna tell you to drop it, but I don't wanna play your play. All right, you guys, I am back home. I have to quickly run to Publix and get some diapers because Liam ran out and we have none in the diaper bag. But we used the last one in the diaper bag to change him before he went to bed. So the kids are asleep. It's 10 o'clock at night. Oh, I got the blind book I was selling you, so I'm gonna go look through it now, the shade. So I'm gonna look through the shade book and pick some shades. The house came with blinds, DR Horton, um, that was one of the incentives to go with their lender. So it came with uh, these blinds here. It came with those, but I wanna change them. So my, my husband um, has many accounts with different shade companies. So that's how I just grabbed the book and he could just order a shade <laughs> from one of these companies that he has accounts with. So I, I'm going to order a shade and pick one and I'll keep you updated on it. God, this thing is huge. So this is kind of like the book that when the shade designers go to your house, they use. Let me show you. Babe, my camera, remember my my camera broke. That little screw that you have put for me, it came out. And it has like the different... um textures and stuff. Can you see through this? I'm gonna ask him for some help. No, no, Just help me um, understand it, babe. Just I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out here. The restaurant was, I think it's a four star restaurant. It's Vercel's, I don't know if I'm saying that right. A Chateau Elon, Elon Winery. I give it a 3.5. Davidson gave it a three. He found a hair in his food. I had salmon, he had like, I think, was it braised beef? Short ribs. I feel like my salmon was okay. I mean, it was a, a cute presentation and stuff, but I felt like it was okay. I felt like the wait was long. I don't know if we go at a different time, it would be different, but I don't think I'll ever go back there unless it was for breakfast. Let me not say that because 
<laughs> Let me not say that. But they have a breakfast, so I'll try that breakfast there. But other than that, it was okay. Sometimes, I, sometimes I be, um, as I got older, I started to realize I, I have a sore throat. <laughs> As I get older, I start to realize expensive doesn't always mean good, especially when it comes to food. It was like average. Anyway, you guys, I have a sore throat. I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out right here. And thank you for spending the past few. Girl, you should, we spent some time. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and see you in the comments. Bye.